day one of the journey. I'm Scott. This is Sean. Can't see shit generally, but he's a good driver. And we are going down to. Um, we're exactly 65 minutes into our journey. Uh, the heavens have just opened up like ridiculously heavy. Uh, the rain said it's going to stop at two o'clock where we're going. So with any luck, by the time we get there, it's not going to be a quad mile to actually have to swim to our camp. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I'm just going to give you a quick video tour of our campsite. This is the view from my tent, which is absolutely amazing. Hopefully I don't stumble out of my tent in the middle of the night. I'll just give you a quick panoramic of our whole campsite. There is absolutely no phone signal, which is a good thing and also a bad thing. Good morning, it's day two, first wake up of the holiday. A little bit cold last night, I have to admit. <laughs> Need to take a sleeping bag, Rach. Uh, woke up at four, had to get dressed again uh, to get back to sleep. But it, once I slept, the bed was amazing. Uh, got to sleep really well. But bonus is, I did get to wake up to this. awesome. Going to take on the big walk today but first I'm going to eat some breakfast and drink a shed load of tea. Today we're walking the Manifold Valley Walk. It's um, built on an old train track that they obviously tarmacked over that shut down in 1937. Follows the Manifold River down there. Just up there on the left above the Manifold River is the Tor 8 Mines. Uh, a lot of copper in there, which is why the red. We're going to be visiting Swain's Tunnel and Thor's Cave. So we'll show you pictures of those as we go. Well, that was Swainsley Tunnel. It's about 200 metres long. And somehow it is so cold, it's like a fridge in there. I should have worn my jacket. Quite a surprise on the walk, didn't expect to see it. We have actually reached the famous Weak Bridge, known so because it's only three foot long. It was actually one of Brunel's first attempts. It broke, and they brought it the Weak Bridge, and they brought it down here from London. Well, we're at Thor's cave now, and we're about to go and have a look inside. Uh, only one small problem that I didn't anticipate is Thor's cave is all the way up there. Uh, so, it's gonna be a bit of a walk, and you know, but we gotta go and see it. See you when I get there, I suppose.
That was one hell of a climb, but we are now at Thor's cave. Gonna give it a five minute break, and then we get up inside there and see what it looks like. Here comes Sir Edmund Hillary. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, you flew with me. I just met someone's coming up. <laughs> I did the same method as you. I I yeah, I know, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> I cannot describe how amazing that is in there. It's just. The video just doesn't show how amazing it is. It's just thousands of years of erosion. It's turned into just natural art. If you ever get the chance up here, come and visit. say we're in Manifold Valley at the moment but just as you can see by the scenery you could be anywhere including Lord of the Rings such a magnificent place to be we're about a third of our way through our walk now and as you can see it started raining the reason I wanted to make this little video is because as we were walking along we found this place was called Old Souls Wood and when I said Old Souls Wood, my cameraman Sean said Young Souls Wooden, which I think is very apt for this sort of walk. Well, we're halfway there, which is 12 miles into the walk. Uh, we're in a little village called, well, a little village, it's uh, called Border Houses. And weirdly enough, we found ourselves in a wooden house uh, called the Old Crown Hotel. Well, that's just over 20 mile walk done. Most of it in heavy rain. We were gonna take a couple more videos of the caves. It just wasn't viable with the water. We've had to come home, get out of the wet clothes, and now we are going for a much deserved pint in the pub. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.